Yo guys, what is going on? Matt here, and welcome to a playoff edition of Mac Money Road to the Show here on MLB 15 The Show on the PS4. Mac Money has led his Braves to the playoffs. They haven't made it in a while, and in year 2018, they do. They will be playing the Pirates in the NLDS. Here are the updated attributes for Mac Money. 22 years old, 99 overall, he is a beast. And here is the bracket for the 2018 playoff. And you see here in the AL, the Rangers beat the Indians in the wild card game. They will be taking on the Rays. And the other ALDS game will be between the Tigers and the Mariners in the NL. The Nationals, after losing the last game to the Braves, had to take on the Pirates in the wild card game. They lose. Pirates will take on us in the NLDS game. And the other NLDS series are the D-backs and the Cardinals. So here we go. Batting practice before the first career playoff game in Mac Money's career. He was with the White Sox a little, they sucked. He was with the Braves a little, and they sucked until this year. They finally broke out, and he has led his team to a very good record, 98 wins, and a pretty good playoff position, top record in the NL. And uh, you can see he's feeling pretty comfortable in batting practice. He's getting a home run right there, and a home run right here. So just uh, trying to you know keep the nerves down. But uh, you know his team has been known to choke. The Braves have been known to choke, and... If he wants to help them reach their ultimate goal, which is to win a World Series, he's going to have to play very well and put up Mac Money like numbers. And if he can do that, they're going to have a pretty good chance. So here we go. Game 1, Turner Field, Pirates and Braves here at the 2018 NLDS. I am super excited. This series has been going on now for over 40 episodes, and Mac has never played a playoff game. It's always been disappointing seasons where teams never played good, but we are finally in the postseason, and here we go. You see on the right side, the Braves offensively, basically all uh, owned to Mac Money, average home runs and RBIs. But uh, you know what? You never can really underestimate your opponent. They made it here for a reason, and they're going to show us why. So they're going to send Francisco Liriano to the mound. Meanwhile, the Padre or sorry, the Braves are going to send Julio Teheran to the mound here in this 2018 NLDS. First playoff game of Mac Money's career is underway. He's in the field, runner on first. Trying to catch this fly ball here in the first inning, and he will do just that. So just trying to stay comfortable here. Make sure that uh, he's catching the balls that he needs to and not dropping any. Bottom of the first now, he's coming up to bat. You remember, he hit 345 last year, 37 homers. This guy can hit. 2 nothing Pirates, though, in the first and that ball is driven into right. That actually has a chance. It's going to go over the right fielder, Jose Tabata's head, and Mac Money is in there. What a great way to start off this series. His first at bat, he gets a double over the right field Tabata's head, and he is at second with a double. 2 1 Pirates now later in the game. Mac is going to try to beat out this double play, and he will, but only because the pitch or the throw to first was over the first baseman's head, and now he's stuck in a pickle and he will get tagged out. So uh, they're not even going to give him a base hit because that was an error, but he will get 12 points for the at bats. And it is still 2-1 Pirates here in the top of the 8th. Runner on 3rd with an out. Mack trying to track this ball down in right. He does. He will try to get the runner out at home. It was a strong throw home. And they are just barely going to cross the plate before the throw comes in. That was extremely close. It didn't look close at first, but it was pretty close. He doesn't throw him out. And when it's all said and done, the Braves have a little mini comeback here and win game 1 as they go and get the 4-3 victory. Mack only had one hit on the day, so... His team rallied ahead of him and won that game. So, game number two here in Atlanta, trying to take a commanding 2-0 series lead here in this best of five series at Turner Field. Once again, fans ready. This time it's a night game, not an evening or a, an afternoon game, I guess, as Mac is going to look to continue and play some good ball here. You see here the little statistic, as Avian was the winning pitcher for us last game and Parnell was the losing pitcher for the Pirates. And on the mound today... It's going to be Matt Cain for the Atlanta Braves, the second man in our five-man rotation, and Jeff Locke for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So, I don't think we've ever faced Jeff Locke. I really don't. I, I don't remember facing him, but nevertheless, we're going to here in Game 2 of the NLDS, and here comes Mac up to the plate. Like I said, only got one hit last game and five at-bats, and he will look to improve on that this game. Bottom of the first, 1-0 pitch coming. Lock delivers, Mac hits this one into left field for a base hit. So when I start off to this game just like last game, he won't get a double, but he will get on base here with a base hit. 27 points for the at-bats, and he's looking good. 
Bottom of the third, runner on first, two outs, no score here. First pitch of the at-bat is over the second baseman's head and into right field, and Tabata misses it in right, and Mack is going to take advantage of that, and so is the base runner. That is an RBI double for Mack Money, an excellent job there, as he'll get 33 points for the at-bats, and now it's 1-1 here in the fourth. Runners on first and second, Mack and right, and that's an easy play there as he just... Uh, Makes the catch, steps over to his left, and throws over to third and keeps the runners at first and second. 16 points for the fielding opportunity. Nice job there. And the next at bat, bottom of the ninth, 3 3 ball game with a runner in scoring position. This could be the biggest at bat of Mac Money's career. Here he goes. 1 0 pitch coming, and he hits this one into right field. This has a chance. This could win it for the Braves, and it's off the wall. Runner from first, I'm sorry, second, had to stay and wait to see if the ball was caught, and as a result, he cannot make it home. And what makes it even worse is that they couldn't bat either one of us at second and third home, and what makes it even worse is that the Pirates now have a 6 3 lead, and it's going to be even more here as Jeff Locke, the pitcher, Yes, the pitcher gets the hit. 7-3, your final score. Max should have had that walk-off win. He was robbed. And as a result, the Braves choke and lose this one 7-3. So the series is all tied up at 1, headed over to Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here at PNC Park, game number 3 between the Pirates and the Braves. And game one, Mac didn't play too well, but his team won. Game two, he played very well, and his team lost. So I don't know if that trend's going to continue. We will see. And you'll see here by the graphic, the second game was won by Phil Hughes and lost by Walden for the Braves. So today, the goal is simple. Um, well, obviously, don't allow that many runs. But two, um, we just got to hit, continue to hit. If we can get on base and get these... Runners in scoring position, we're going to have a good chance. So today we're sending Josh Jotar to the mound for the Braves, and I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm a little nervous, because if we lose this game, then our backs are going to be against the wall, and this is going to be tough. So here comes Mac, 4 for 10 in this series so far with an RBI. No homers, though, as this game is scoreless in the top of the first. Base is empty, two outs, 0-2 pitch coming to Mac Money. Eighth of the day, here it comes. Mac hits this one over to the second baseman. We'll throw over to first for the outs. So nothing going there as we'll get 24 points. And for the first time this series, his first at-bat of the game is not going to be a base hit or a double. So he's in right, trying to make this catch. And he's against the wall in foul territory. He makes it kind of glitched out. But it's a good thing because a lot of runners would have scored if he didn't make that. Well, I guess it was foul. But uh, I guess he didn't allow them to score. So 3-3 here in the fifth. And yeah, he's, he's not going to have a chance on this one. That's going to be a 4-3 Pirates lead after that homer. And... I believe that was Starling Marte. 6-3, or sorry, 6-4 Pirates here later in the game. And Mac is getting a single up the middle. And that's going to score one run, and that's going to score two runs. So a great job there by Mac Money as he will get the two-run single and 64 points for the at-bat. There's runners on the corners now for the Braves. And he ties the game up, and the Braves come back and win. It was a 6-4 game. Mac Money ties it up with that base hit there. And then they take the lead 7-6. What a great job by Mac Money. Actually the only hit of the game. But he will give the Braves the 2-1 series lead. And they could win it here in Game 4 here in Pittsburgh at PNC Park. Man, that was good. I thought we were going to lose that game, but we came back and won it. And now we have the Pirates' backs against the wall, and we can eliminate them. So they're going to send Garrett Cole to the mound. Another pitcher I don't think Mac has faced. So we'll see how he does. And the Braves are going to send Hinju Ryu to the mound. So hopefully he can um, at least try to match Cole. That'll be hard because Cole's a good pitcher. But uh, here we go. 5 for 16 the series. 313. No homers and 3 RBIs. As it's Garrett Cole and Mac Money. First pitch of the at-bat is hit into center field. A nice job there by Mac. I don't think he's faced Garrett Cole. So that's a little nice uh, warm welcome there. That's how Mac Money plays. Garrett's good, but Mac is better. 24 points for the at-bats. Moving on, 4 nothing Pirates here in the fourth. Leadoff is Mac Money, and yeah, he's, he's going to strike out there. Don't know what he was looking for, as that was a pretty good pitch to hit, but he'll get four points for the at-bat as he strikes out. Still 4 nothing Pirates here in the ninth. Looks like we're going to a game five, and Mac is going to hit this one into right for a base hit. So he'll continue his hitting streak here in the series. He has a base hit in at least all four games so far. He'll get 24 points for the at-bats. 
But when it is all said and done, the Braves don't do much. Actually, they, they score three runs. They actually almost won that game. But nevertheless, the Pirates win this one 4-3. to three. Garrett Cole with the win, Ryu with the loss, Parnell with the save, as Mac only gets uh, the two hits. So, here we go. Game number five, back in Atlanta, Turner Field. Winner of this series will go on and advance to the NLCS. This could be huge for Braves fans. They have seen their team choke for a long time now. If they can get to the NLCS, that would be a little bit of a helper there. So here we go. Julio Tejeron going on the mound for the Braves. And Francisco Liriano back on the mound for the Pirates. Same game one matchup pitching-wise. And the winner of this game, like I said, moving on to the championship series. So here we go. Mack in right, trying to make this play here, and he will. And if there is ever a time to uh, step up and play a good game, it's it's going to be this game. We get 14 points for the fielding opportunity, but uh, in games 1 and 3, he didn't play well as team 1, and in games 2 and 4, he played very well in his team loss. So we're going to have to see here, that is how he started off. Base hit into center field, gets on first, and gives the Braves a chance here. 27 points for the base hit and the solid contact. Moving on forward. Braves up 1-0 in the third. Two outs. Runner on first. 0-1 pitch to Mack, and he's hitting that one into right center. That is going to roll all the way to the wall, and this is trouble for the Pirates. Mack is headed over to second, and that is going to be an RBI double for Mack Money. The runner comes ahead and scores ahead of the throw. 36 points for the at-bats, and the Braves are in business. Up 2-0, now 2-1 here in the fifth. Runners on the corners. Two outs. First pitch of the at-bat for Mack. Liriano delivers, and that is hit over, and Tabata misses it in right. That's the second time this series, Jose Tabata has missed it, and Mack is going to take advantage of that. He is headed over to third. The runner scores, and what a performance so far from Mack Money. An excellent job there. This will get 12 points, only for the base hit, as that was an error out and right by Tabata. But now the Braves are up 5-1. And make it 6-1 as the runner from second is going to come home and he will score. That's an RBI single for Mac Money. 39 points for the at-bats and the Braves are looking very good, folks. Mac is in right and if he catches this ball, we will eliminate the Pirates and advance to the NLCS. It's popped up into right. Mac Money is under it. And he makes the catch. The Braves are headed to the National League Championship Series. What a performance. Julio Teheran goes the distance. And look at these players celebrate. Mac Money, Julian Russell, the newcomers, along with Justin Upton, Simmons, Teheran. All those guys combined finally get the Braves into the NLCS. And now they look to win that and go to the World Series. Your player of the game, without a doubt, is Julio, Julio Teheran. And... He went very, very long. He went almost a distance, eight innings pitched, with two walks and eight strikeouts, only giving up a run. And that is how it ends, folks. The playoffs are going to continue for the Braves. This season is not over. This season looks very promising, and we were going to be taking on the St. Louis Cardinals in the National League Championship Series as we win this. They win their series against the D-backs, and I am super excited. 98 wins, and we are headed to the National League Championship Series. Mack gets his first taste of the playoffs, and it is not over yet. So, when we come back, it will be the NLCS against the Cardinals. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave, you, leave a like if you enjoyed. And here's to the NLCS. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.